Good morning, Jill. Thanks for having us back. We're thrilled to be a part of your show again this morning. Uh, just for a change of pace, we decided to bring it to you from our patio this morning out here in Galway. So thanks so much. We got a lot to show you. So let's get into the kitchen and we'll show you how we're doing this today. We're going to be making some clams casino. It's something I have made my whole life. Uh, and it's something that's a, at this time of year, it, it, it's just a wonderful thing to be able to go out in the garden and pick most of the stuff. I'm going to show you the things that we didn't grow here ourselves. We either got from our friends Anderson's down the street uh, or some other other local farmers and even down into the Schoharie Valley. So we'll get started with a little bit of fresh basil, some freshly chopped garlic. And you can see I'm not measuring, I'm not much on measuring. Most people that had Italian grimmers don't really measure all that much anyways, and there we are, I'm part of that club. Some freshly chopped celery. Diced roasted red peppers. Chives. Sometimes we use scallions. Today we're using chives because it's what's in the garden. Chopped bacon. Ah, maybe a little bit more bacon. Okay, just a little bit more bacon. All right. A little Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna give that a quick toss. Now in order to stuff a clam with this, it needs to be just a little bit thicker than it is. A lot of times we use breadcrumbs, but recently we've been doing this just because we have so many requests for gluten-free diets. These are uh, actually chopped pork rinds, which work real well as a binder, and they also give a nice pork flavor, which nobody really seems to uh, be too upset with. Now just to hold it all together, we'll use a little bit of melted butter. And currently our favorite hot sauce, made right in Amsterdam, New York from the mule sticker people. And then we give that a quick toss. And I planned ahead. I have a batch that's already completed right here and some clams that I've pre-shucked. We get all of our seafood fresh daily from our friends up in Gloversville, the Antonucci's. They do a wonderful job of keeping us in fresh fish all year round. Okay, I'm going to put this into our favorite little roasting dish. And this is where it gets really fun. We're going to take these right into the smoker today because we don't really want to go in the kitchen. Who does? It's too hot in there. So, we're going to take these, put them right into the smoker, and we're going to bake them right between some lovely briskets. What better place to spend some time? And for the sake of TV, here are some that have been prepared ahead of time. And all we're doing now is going to garnish them with some fresh slices of lemon. And they are ready to serve. So once again, Jill, thank you so much for having us back. Can't wait to do it in Manans. And uh, thanks for spending your morning with us here on the patio. Have a great day. Thanks.